Welcome back to study tips for IGCSE Mathematics. Today's topic is related to collecting, organizing, and displaying data. Without further delay, let's begin with this topic. Collecting and classifying data. Data is a set of facts, numbers, or other information. Statistics involve a process of collecting data and using it to try and answer a question. The flow diagram show the four main steps involved in this process of statistical investigation. First, we have identifying the questions for the problems to be solved. Secondly, we have to collect the data and what data will you need? What method will you use to collect it? And step three, organize and display the data. How will you organize the data to make it easier to work with? Can you draw a graph or chart to show the data clearly? What data will you need? And what methods will you use to collect it? And fourth step, you have to analyze and interpret the data. Can you summarize the data? And what trends are there in the data? And what conclusion? can you draw from the data? Does the data raise any new questions? So let's begin with identifying the different types of data. First, we have categorical data. What is a categorical data? Categorical data is a non-numerical data. So, it names or describes something without references to numbers or size. Colors, names of people and places. And this category data is also called qualitative data. And secondly, we have numerical data. Numerical data is data in number form. It can be an amount, a measurement, a time, or a score. And also numerical data is called qualitative data. Numerical data can be further divided into two groups. One is a discrete data, and the other one is continuous data. Discrete data is that you can take certain values. For example, like the number of children in a class. Like continuous data, it could take any value between two given values. For example, the height of the persons who is between 1.5 meters and 1.6 meter tall. Methods of collecting data. Data can be collected from primary sources by doing survey, interview, or asking to complete questionnaires. Data from primary sources is known as primary data. Data can also collected from secondary sources. For example, if you use data from internet site, data from secondary sources is known as secondary data.
data can be put in the forms of tables. Here, we give you an example about two ways tables. What does it mean by two ways tables? Where you have columns and row. So inside the row, you have wearing a seat belt, not wearing a seat belt. And inside the column, you also have men and women. Let's try to answer these questions. Given the question one, how many men were wearing seat belt? Okay, how to interpret this table? How many men wearing seat belt? Wearing a seat belt and a man. So the figure is the answer is for number one is ten. How many women were wearing seat belt? So see the columns is wearing a seat belt and the woman. And the answer is six. How many men were not wearing seat belt? Not wearing seat belt and a man. The answer is four. And how many women were not wearing seat belt? So not wearing seat belt and the woman. The answer is three. This is a sample of two-way table. And finally, we have the data can be interpreted in a form of pie chart. What is a pie chart? Pie chart is a circular chart with users slices or sectors of the circle to show the data. Example here, we have example, uh, how many lions spend a typical days. Example number one, as you know, the total of the, the, the pie chart is 100%. So in this diagram, how to interpret it is, the lion spend about 80% sleeping and 7% in socializing and 6% in grooming and 5% in attacking gazelles and the purple color 2% is eating gazelles. And if we see the second diagram, is actually how elephants spend a typical day. We can see elephants spend 82% on eating as compared to lion. Lion spend 80% on sleeping and 10% on sleeping and 8% not forgetting. And then we see the third example, how jellyfish spend a typical day. We have 90% jellyfish just floating and 9% absorbing food and only 1% ruining a perfectly good day at the beach. Jellyfish. And let's see how panda spend a typical day. And panda being adorable, 100%. This is how the data is being interpreted and um, table tabulated in the forms of pie charts. I think that's all it's the subject or details need to be presented under collecting, organizing, and displaying data. Without that, Thank you very much for listening.